Good day to you future LPT. Let us review. Licensure examination for teachers, for English major, final coaching part 2. Are you ready? Let us begin. Question number 1. How do we define motif in literary writing? A. Element of surprise or a twist in ending. B. Main insight, central idea, or universal truth found in literary work. C. Image or idea repeated throughout a work or several works literature. D. Writing style adopted by the author W slash C is revealed in his slash her word choice. The correct answer is letter C. Image or idea repeated throughout a work or several works literature. Question number 2. Which of the following is used between people not sharing a common discourse? A. Create. B. Dialect. C. Pigeon. D. Mother tongue. The correct answer is letter C. Pigeon. Question number 3. Sally wasn't able to buy a cake for John today so she bought one the next day. One ticket, what linguistic reference was shown? A. Anaphora. B. Deoxys. C. Corference. D. Entailment. The correct answer is letter A. Anaphora. Question number 4. What communicative competence is shown by Jen when he wanted to use the word rummage in her speech but used thorough search because she couldn't think of the exact word? A. Discourse. B. Strategic. C. Sociolinguistic. D. Linguistic. The correct answer is letter B. Strategic. Question number 5. In language acquisition, the following are considered as milestones in language development except A. Babbling. B. Echolalia. C. Crying. D. Cooing. The correct answer is letter B. Echal Alia. Question number 6. Candy speaks English but with her regional accent. This habit could lead to a fossilization of errors called blank. A. Nativization. B. Slaw. C. Pigeonization. D. Linguistic incompetence. The correct answer is letter C. Pigeonization. Question number 7. The aspect of communicative competence that deals with the appropriate use of communication and coping strategies is known as blank. A. Discourse competence. B. Grammatical competence. C. Sociolinguistic competence. D. Strategic competence. The correct answer is letter D. Strategic competence. Question number 8. 
Vanity Fair is a novel satirizing society in the early 19th century Britain and is written by blank. A. Ernest Hemingway. B. Jane Austen. C. Louisa Alcott. D. William Thackeray. The correct answer is letter D. William Thackeray. Question number 9. Drink Me Only With Thine Eyes is written by blank. A. Shakespeare. B. Hemingway. C. Frost. D. Johnson. The correct answer is letter D. Johnson. Question number 10. Happy families are all alike, every unhappy family is unhappy in its own ways. This like is taken from A. War and Peace B. Oliver Twist C. Anna Karenina D. Adventures of Huckleberry Finn The correct answer is letter C. Anna Karenina. Question number 11. Who is the author of short stories and novels who is considered the greatest French short story writer? A. Guy de Maupassant. B. Victor Hugo. C. Jacques Derrida. D. Jean Paul Sartre. The correct answer is letter A. Guy de Maupassant. Question number 12. Leo Tolstoy is known as the world's greatest blank for writing War and Peace and Anna Karenina. A. Poet. B. Essayist. C. Novelist. D. Short story writer. The correct answer is letter C. Novelist. Question number 13. Who wrote MRS? Dalloway? A. Marlowe. B. Wolf. C. Shakespeare. D. Orwell. The correct answer is letter B. Wolf. Question number 14. Which of the following is a bitter pamphlet that ironically suggests that the Irish babies fattened and sold as meat? A. Vanity Fair B. The Rape of the Lock C. A Modest Proposal D. Scarlet Letter The correct answer is letter C. A modest proposal. Question number 15. Who wrote Little Women? A. Jane Austen. B. Emily Bronte. C. Charlotte Bronte. D. Louisa Alcott. The correct answer is letter D. Louisa Alcott. Question number 16. Who is alluded in the line, O oh Captain, my Captain? A. Thomas Jefferson. B. 
George Washington C. Abraham Lincoln D. Donald Trump The correct answer is letter C. Abraham Lincoln Question number 17 The literary piece that opens with, Call Me Ishmael is blank A. Animal Farm B. Captain Courageous C. Moby Dick D. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea The correct answer is letter C. Moby Dick. Question number 18. Which of the following best describes the writer's connotative use of language? A. Presence of a one-on-one -on -one correspondence between the word and what it refers to because the writer aims to be exact. B. Explicit reference or expression of precise meanings. C. Use of scientific language. D. Exhibits a richness in meaning which does not only refer to something but also communicates tone and affects the readers. The correct answer is letter D. Exhibits a richness in meaning which does not only refer to something but also communicates tone and affects the readers. Please check the link on the description below if you want to avail hard copy let reviewers. If you like this video, please hit the like button, thank you for watching future LPT.